biggest chicken wing festival in the world, the National Buffalo Wing Festival in Buffalo, New York. I've just been invited to the National Buffalo Wing Festival. It's the first ever international right. competitors. We do want to win it. This is the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl of chicken wings. So this is the first time anybody has sampled Golden Buffalo. Is it going to win a competition? No. Enter it. We're going to take it to America for sure. We've invested quite a lot of money now in, in the trip, so it's really important that it goes well. The prep kitchen is not available on Thursday and Friday. Uh, it looks like we might only have one day instead of two to now prep 10,000 wings. Good morning. Waiting for the taxi. Andy has just arrived. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> it's Andy! Good, good. Team, unit. Are we actually going down? <laughs> no, you got finished. <laughs> We're going to Heathrow at this very moment in time. Buffalo is the end goal. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's the man bag. Look at it, the wings! It's a sign! It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Buffalo, we are in the taxi that we just landed at Buffalo, heading into Buffalo downtown. Are Buffalonians proud of chicken wings? Are you kidding me? Are beans green? We invented them. We are the creators. I think it's great that people in England uh, are making chicken wings and following the buffalo example. Do you think English people can make chicken wings? No. No. Nobody can make wings like the Buffalonians can make wings. No. No. I live chicken wings. I mean, they're in my blood. Buffalo wings, you yeah, better know good. buffalo, yeah. baby. We don't call them buffalo wings here. We just call them wings. I'm telling you, if these guys do a number and they win, we're going to have to find a secret way out of town. We are now standing outside Anchor Bar in Buffalo, which is the birthplace of the chicken wing, birthplace of what is now called the Buffalo Wing. The owner, Teresa Bellissimo, back in the 60s. 60s around, around the 60s. Yeah, yeah. Early, early 60s, first created the wing. We spread from here all over the town of Buffalo, then all over New York, York State, States. and then and went all, all over New all over America. And then, and then to the UK. <laughs> this is our world. This this yeah. really does mean everything, everything to yeah, us. Yeah. What do you think makes great wings? The most important thing is the sauce. 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 Definitely. In Buffalo they say the sauce is the boss. What makes a good sauce? The very simplest base is Franks and butter. And that's like, I would say probably 90% of bars are serving wings with like Franks and butter. Some people are very like dogmatic about their wings. Like, the Franks hot sauce, butter, and that's it. Franks hot sauce. Franks, butter, and Franks. There's no question about it. The original wing is Franks red hot butter. It's, it's called a cayenne pepper sauce, but they grow a specific cayenne pepper. So really no other sauce tastes exactly like it. But after a while, you got chefs in the back of the kitchen like, hey, I want to add my twist to it. I want to add a little garlic, more vinegar, less, more salt. I want to add this special ingredient. And that's where chicken wings have gone. Going now to the, uh, the convention center, which is where the kitchen that we've got organized is to start prepping the sauces. The kitchen. Hello. Oh, there's somebody lying down over there. A room right there, the back room. The kitchen. Oh, which way? Do you know how to get through to the kitchen? Ooh, this is a sexy kitchen. Hi, is, is Chef Ray here? Yes, he is. He's just on the phone. Chef Ray's in charge of this kitchen. He's the one that's very kindly sorted out for us. This is now the boiler room, the engine room. Chef Ray? I'm at, I'm at Rats. Yeah, I'm Rats. Richard. How you doing, Richard? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for having us. Do you want me to show your stuff? Yes, please, yeah. Hey, Andy. Okay. It's huge. 
Is that yeah. everything in here? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, thank you so much, you know, thanks for sorting that out. All of this stuff here is is for us making our sauces. Was it all easy to get hold of? Some of it was, some of it was. Yeah. Uh, that's the yellow hearts. Oh, that's a shame. Well, if you want a different, huh? No, there is none in the US. No, sorry. We have like five or different, six different kinds of peppers. Yeah, yeah. They have jalapenos, habanero. I'll find out what they got. Yeah, stop, thanks for right? that, chef. Currently, the main ingredient for the golden buffalo is not here. They, they don't like. Uh, we just called different things different names. So we thought we were ordering yellow chilies. Um, it's sort of yellow hot peppers, and they've literally they've just sent. I mean, these are called yellow peppers, apparently. Here, yellow chilies. Quite a big problem, actually. Biggest problem we've had so far. Our buffalo sauce has um, a base of two. We've already smoked it, cold smoked it. We're just keeping this as airtight as possible and leaving the smoke there to really penetrate the sauce and give it that smoky flavour. We're just going to leave this to smoke for about half an hour. We're incorporating garlic in there, blue cheese. So it's going to add the creaminess and the celery salt. We're adding our mustard, so the English mustard. Uh, we're just going to give it that English vibe. And then to really give it a meaty flavour and that extra depth of smoke, we're going to be adding this smoked pig's neck. So this is the pork butt that I've been smoking for the last couple of hours. We're about to put it into the oven just to render out all the juices that we can so we can whack it into the buffalo sauce. And blitz it up with the biggest blender you've ever seen. not as smoky as the one you had the other day. I reckon it just needs a notch up with smokiness. We are packing down for the evening, so we've got to make sure that all these lovely sauces are stored, refrigerated overnight. No, I've got to wait. I've been in the kitchen now like seven hours. Actually longer than that, five, eight hours prepping. Um, I think we underestimated oh, how much there was to do and also the chilies, the chili scenario. Then we can just put a bit of cling film on and refrigerate. This would re really screw things up. I'll just go on the other end just in case. Going to Butter Bings. We're going to have a good time. The Butter Bings! Down to me and Josh. He made the executive decision that he's going hot. Ten suicide wings. <laughs> Load them up. Uh oh. There's something about eating. Hotter, hotter wings that brings out a certain uh, macho quality. I think there's also kind of an adrenaline rush that you get, a rush similar to a drug. Try man, like they, they guys looked at me. I was like, oh, I can't be a pussy. I went back and tried to chin it, and I was like, I can't even get through the end. So I tried to chin it. I don't want to think about it. But chinning it did not work. Chinning it. How much did you chin? As much as I could before I thought I was going to throw up all over the waitresses. Wings now as well. I am sorting out the wings because you've got to get them all cooked by 11. 20 minutes to the heat. 
something not right about it, is it? No. You know you can't add like that because it's just going to just... Oh, well, we've got to crack on, mate. Right? Now it's pressure. Just put them straight into a hot hold. Right, we've got to start moving, man. You might have to stay here, man, because we are under a lot of yeah. pressure. Whilst we've got them, it's that barbecue. Yeah? Can we pour this? Let's get this, let's get this out now. Yeah. Double task. What time are you supposed to go, guys? Ten minutes ago. Josh is staying here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Ready? Ready, chef? Okay. How you doing? You right? People are obsessed with chicken wings in this town. A lot of parents, they train their kids to eat chicken wings at early age. I've got pictures of babies, like one year old, where they're nibbling on chicken wings. It's like having your first tooth. We're gonna check out these boys from England and see if they've learned how to make a good chicken wing. Yeah, let's get the on. Channel two. Oh, yeah. You're up against some tough competition yeah. here. Uh, how's your feelings going into this? Well, it's easily something different because you guys have got like 50 odd years of experience on us. Actually, 51, but who's counting? This is a, uh, a bulbul, Christmas bulbul. It's a chicken wing. We've, been, we've been eating, cooking, living, breathing wings, wings. for the last four days, basically. <laughs> we're like literally, I mean, we've, we've got we're pretty much growing wings, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> the Randy's boys wings, they're in their own league. You cannot compare them to anything else. The smokiness, I never had wings with that smoky flavor. The smoky buffalo gym are terrific. Very nice kick to it. It wasn't too hot and it wasn't too sweet. The crunch, the taste, the flavor of it. In my opinion, it's really one of the best buffalo wings I've ever had. They're fabulous. I love it. I never tasted of it. It's good. I definitely think they're going to stack up well against the competition. This oh, yeah. Being able to get this much attention uh, talking about something that we're really passionate about is brilliant. Like people, instead of back in England when we, you know, we're at a house party or talking to our friends and people tune out after about five minutes, here people want to. People want to listen to us. We've got so much to say, and people just listen to us. It's, it's Things are done. Things are done. Aww. We're out. That smoked traditional sauce, that may have started something in the States. Who knows? If the Randys win the Wing Fest, they certainly would become a national and international story for that big upset. Uh, yeah, man, well done. I've kind of got the whole interviewing thing kind of nailed now. Ish. The golden cayennes that we used back home, they don't have them here. The thing is, mate, this is not going to get any better. The chilies are wrong. Like, this is not going to taste like our sauce that we're taking from home. There's nothing we can do about it. 